Hi guys, this is Vivek and welcome back to the 31st tutorial of this Linux tutorial series. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to remove or how to get rid of the volume group or PVs or the logical volumes that we created in the previous tutorials. So, we also saw that in the previous tutorials that uh, when we are trying to get rid of or we are trying to uh, do a VG remove of VG hyphen alpha, it resulted in an error saying that it's already being used. So then what's the correct way of getting rid of this or how to remove th these volume groups? So when it says it's being used, it's because it's still mounted somewhere, right? So that is still being used here if you see. It's mounted to MNT Vivek volume. So there are two ways in which we can unmount this. One is using command U mount. If you do U mount and then we'll type MNT slash Vivek volume. It will unmount it. It's gone. But the problem is that we have already made an entry in slash etc slash fs tab so the moment the system boots it will try to mount it back and uh, if you delete these partitions or these directories it might result in an unstable system for you like we'll just do mount minus a and you will see that it's mounted here right so step one would be unmounting this we'll go to v we'll try to adc slash fs tab fs tab and i'll just come in this line save it we'll do mount minus a and then df minus k or h you see it's still mounted but if we do uh, u or, or, or u mount slash mnt slash vivek volume it's gone df minus h it's gone right and if you do a mount minus a again and then do a df minus h it won't show you why because the entry for this particular mount point is gone from the slash etc slash fs tab file now we are good to proceed with the removal of logical volume so um, the order which we followed was we first created physical volume then we created uh, a logical volume and then a volume uh, sorry a volume group and then a logical volume out of that volume group so we'll do the reverse we'll first remove the logical volume so the command is lv remove and slash device then well, the volume group name is vg hyphen alpha and then vivek volume it says you really want to remove active logical volume vivek volume we'll say yes it got removed successfully now after logical volume we'll get rid of volume group so we'll write vg remove and the volume group name is vg hyphen alpha it got successfully removed then we are good to go to remove the physical volumes so we'll type pv remove and physical volumes that we had created was device slash stb1 and slash device slash stb2 these two got successfully wiped. Now we can see the status. We'll type PV display. Oh, we still have two physical volumes, right? But it's not associated to any volume group. If you type VG display here, The Vivek, or the sorry, the first one that we created volume group was VG hyphen alpha. That is no more here. 
I'll try to maximize the screen and show you uh, that is gone only one volume group exists that was Red Hat Enterprise Linux that was system generated and Anurag that I created in one of the sessions uh, so even if you want to get rid of this Anurag we can do that it's pretty easy we'll do we'll first do uh, VG uh, so LV remove or if you don't have uh, Anurag LV we'll see if there are any other LV display if there are any logical volumes are in place okay we have a logical volume storage in place which, which is using volume group as Anurag so we'll type LV remove and then what's the name slash device slash Anurag and storage Yes, get rid of it. Cool. Next, we'll remove volume group, remove, and then storage. No, that was Anurag. Volume group was Anurag. A new RG. Got removed successfully. Now, if you type VG display, it's just a system generated one. And if you type uh, VG display, Again, the system generated one so whatever we created is gone so it's pretty simple to get rid of this but be careful guys if you are doing this you will lose all your data which is being stored there so be careful while doing this operation until unless you don't know what you're doing don't proceed I hope you learned something out of these three tutorial series on LVMs practice on this if you do a couple of times the concepts will become clear and then you will be more confident in creating resizing or removing these volume groups and lvs so hope you enjoyed this tutorial do subscribe to my channel for future updates and thanks for watching guys have a nice day